So, you would like to install an Ubuntu-based Linux distribution on your PC. In this video, I will explain how to download an ISO image, make a bootable install thumb drive, and go through the process of actually installing your Ubuntu-based distro. Here are some of the most popular Ubuntu-based distros and Ubuntu flavors, including Ubuntu. This is desktop on Ubuntu. This is desktop of elementary, which is based in Ubuntu. The desktop for Linux Mint, probably the most popular Ubuntu distros out there. Ubuntu Mate. Ubuntu Budgie. and Zorin OS. All of these Ubuntu distros install process is very similar although there may be slight differences and once you're familiar with the install process on one Ubuntu distro you'll have no problem installing any other Ubuntu distro. I decided to go through the install process of Linux Mint uh, my favorite Ubuntu based distro. This is the Linux Mint website where you can get the download of an ISO image which will be used to make a bootable USB drive with the actual install files. If we scroll down and I'll furnish the site address and the information below. So we scroll down to download links. I'm going to get cinnamon 64 bit Click on that, and this will get you to some of the different download sites. I'm in the USA. I'll go ahead and click on advanced hoosters.com. Save file. Now that we have a copy of the ISO image file, we need an app to make a bootable USB drive on a blank USB drive. A thumb drive of at least four gigabytes or more will do. The process of making a USB drive into a bootable install drive will erase any other information that's already on the drive, so it's best to start with an empty thumb drive. To make an install USB from the ISO file, you'll need Rufus. And Rufus, in my humble opinion, is the best app to make an installed thumb drive. I'll furnish the site address in the information below, but this is a website. And you can use it as a portable app so you don't need to install the app on your PC. So if we scroll down, there is Rufus Portable. Hit that. And download that. Well, this is how to use Rufus. And I have my copy of Rufus Portable. I plugged in a USB stick. We want to select a ISO image, but we have a down arrow so we can go ahead and make sure that's selected. Select. I have the ISO image in my download folder. Open. Everything else can be left the same. We're ready. Start. This image uses system. Okay, fine. That will do. The image you selected is a, is it a hybrid. It means okay. Yes, we want to write in ISO image mode, recommended. Okay. Warning, all that on this device will be destroyed. Yeah, we know that. Okay. And it started. So we'll come back to this when it's done. Okay, Rufus has finished its project. 
and I had a cup of coffee and it took about 10 minutes to complete. So now we have a USB thumb drive that's an actual install thumb drive for Linux Mint. To be able to install it you need to restart the your computer and uh, you have to make sure that your computer's BIOS settings are set to start with the USB thumb drive that's inserted and to do that you need to go into the BIOS settings you can do that by uh, uh, while the computer starting either hit F2, F8, F9, F10, F11, 12 it varies from what type of computer you have so you need to look at your user manual to see which one of these keys will be the one that will allow you to go into the BIOS to change the settings. On my older laptop, an Acer computer, which is seven years old, I hit F2 while it's starting and the BIOS screen will come up. On the top menu, I'll use the right arrow key to scroll to the boot tab. Under the headings is boot priority order. I select USB HHD. That is the thumb drive I have plugged in. Then I use the up arrow key to move to the top. Then I hit F10 to save and exit. And the system will restart with the thumb drive booting up. Your BIOS setting should be very similar to these screenshots. This is the window you'll see when the thumb drive boots up. You can try out Linux Mint in this window and then install it. So let's go ahead and install it. We want English. And we want English US. And it's a good idea to go ahead and install third-party software for graphics, uh, hardware support, uh, Flash, MP3, and, and other media. Continue. Race disk and install Linux Mint or something else where you can install it beside your Windows install but experts say not to install alongside your Windows system because when Windows updates or upgrades it's possible that it will corrupt your Linux partition and also I should stress that you should use either Windows or a freeware app like App Macrum Reflect to make a rescue disk and an image update of your hard drive before installing Linux over it. That is, in case sometime in the future, if you decide to switch back to Windows for some odd reason, or you can go ahead and uh, bring back your Windows install and files and the settings. So let's go ahead and install it now. Continue. And I'm on the West Coast, so we use the time zone for Los Angeles. your name and choose a password I want this to log in automatically without having to put a password every time I boot up so I'll choose that continue And 
it started its install. So we'll come back to this one. It's just about done. We'll look at that. It finished its install. And now we can continue testing or restart. So we'll restart. So we've restarted. And now we have our brand new install of Linux Mint. Welcome screen. Linux Mint itself. Showing their updates. The menu. And you have a complete install of Linux Mint and you're good to go. Now you have a guideline of how to install Linux distros based on Ubuntu which are some of the most used Linux distros available. Be sure to like and subscribe below, leave any comments, and thank you for watching. See you later.